Hi, I'm Kev Lavery, and today I'm going to talk to you about how sound works in online meeting spaces like Zoom, and how you can ensure that you get the best experience and that people can hear you. Now, we use Zoom at TAFE Queensland, but this advice should work across most platforms and devices. It should also work across most use cases too. Good sound is good sound, whether that's a social call with friends or family, or something more formal. First, let's look at the basics of how sound works. You have two types of sound. Sound coming to you, we'll call that receiving. And sound coming from you, we'll call that creating. Problems occur when those two overlap, and that creates feedback. The sound that's being received is the same one that's being created, and that delayed loop causes issues. A lot of our newer devices are equipped to deal with this with dampening, noise cancelling and other techniques, but these can result in some other problems depending on the type of media you're in. When I say dampening, I'm talking about when your device will slightly lower the volume of your receiving sound so that it doesn't overflow into your active microphone. The thing that's important to note with some of this tech is that they can't always differentiate between types of noise you talking or the sound of you typing or shifting in your chair or some other background noise are all noises that can require dampening. So if your mic is on and there is some noise on your side, then the sound you're receiving will be lowered so as to not create feedback. And of course this escalates the more people that are on the call. And it also depends on how they're connected in. So armed with all this information, how do you use it? The simplest and most trouble-free way to create and receive sound is through a headset or headphones with a mic attached. This might be a special headset, or you might just have some headphones that have a mic in them. Maybe you don't have that, and that's okay. The next best solution is to plug any kind of headphones in and then use your device's built-in microphone. That way, there's no overflow because that receiving sound is going directly into your ears. This works on a mobile device as well as any PC that has a built-in microphone. The final use case is when you've got no headphones of any kind, or you're in a situation where you can't have headphones in. In this situation, it's just a case of being disciplined with your use of your own mute button. If you're not actively speaking, then make sure you're on mute, and then when you need to talk again, unmute. This is something that's good practice to do anyway, but it's especially important here. And it gets exponentially more important the more different connections you have coming into the call. Like we said earlier, dampening can't always differentiate for sound, and everyone's sound affects everyone else's experience. So hopefully that sets you up to be able to connect in and communicate regardless of what kind of device or equipment you have access to. Two last notes about sound, and these are more about your own routine than anything. When you join a meeting, if you get offered a chance to test your sound, always do it. Recording and playing back your own voice for you to gauge is more exact and more professional than, can you hear me? And the other one, try to get in the habit of saying your name before you speak in situations where you wouldn't expect people to be able to place you immediately from your voice. Hi, it's Kev Lavery here. I hope this has been some useful info. Cheers.